Find the Taylor series for f of x equal to natural log of x, centered at x equals 1. Then use that to estimate natural log of 0.9. Then use Taylor's theorem to get a bound for the error of our estimate. So our function is going to be natural log of x. I'm going to set myself up a Taylor series. So what do we do? Our center is at 1. So we're going to take powers of x minus 1. And then we're going to load them up with coefficients. We get our kth coefficient by taking the kth derivative of f, evaluate at 1, divide by k factorial. So let's churn through a few terms of this. OK, so first we're going to need a bunch of derivatives. So derivative of natural log of x is just going to be 1 over x, which is x to the minus 1. Take another derivative, the minus 1 comes down, take 1 off, I get x to the minus 2, minus. Do another, we bring the minus 2 down, it becomes a plus 2 in front, that becomes x to the minus 3. As we keep doing that, what we're going to notice is the pattern is you're going to alternate minus signs. So we'll have a minus 1, k plus 1 gets the sign correct. And then as these exponents come down, they're going to accumulate, giving us k minus 1 factorial. And then what's left is going to be just x raised to the minus k power. So we're going to evaluate all of these at 1. f of 1 is 0. f prime of 1 is 1. F double prime at 1 is minus 1. Third derivative at 1 is going to be 2. And then we get down to the kth derivative at 1 is going to be minus 1 to the k plus 1 times k minus 1 factorial. So now we divide each by its factorial. So 0 factorial is equal to 1. 1 factorial is equal to 1. 2 factorial is equal to 2 times 1 is 2. So I get minus 1 half. 3 factorial is equal to 3 times 2 times 1, which is 6. So we get a third. And then when I get down to the kth term, we're going to take this, divide by k factorial, but k minus 1 factorial over k factorial is just equal to 1 over k. So our general term is going to be minus 1 to the k plus 1 times 1 over k. We write out the first few terms of our series. It's going to look like x minus 1 minus a half x minus 1 squared plus a third x minus 1 third minus a quarter x minus 1 raised to the fourth, and so on. OK, I could put it in closed form as we have here. And then we'll note the interval of convergence for this, if we go and do the work, is going to be 0 to 2. So we're centered at 1. And then we'll include 0, but we'll throw away the 2. So that's my Taylor series for natural log of x, centered at 1. OK, let's do an estimate. So what we'll do is, for here, I've worked out up to the fourth power. We have that written down. So we'll just use that as our function we'll use to estimate. So that's going to be the fourth Taylor polynomial. OK, I put 0.9 in there. And so all of our x minus 1s will turn into minus 0.1s. And then when I evaluate, I get minus 0.105358. And then that 3 repeats on forever. So that's our estimate. Now, if we want to get a bound for the error in the estimate, we're going to appeal to Taylor's theorem. So what will that say? That's going to say the remainder for the fourth Taylor polynomial evaluated at x is going to be given by, you take the fifth derivative of your function f, there's going to be an x prime which we evaluate, and then we multiply by x minus x0 raised to the fifth power, divide by 5 factorial. This x prime is going to be somewhere between x and x0. Okay, in our case, x0 is going to be equal to 1 and x is going to be equal to 0.9. The only problem is we're not told how to find the x prime. So what we do instead is we just look at the entire interval from 0.9 to 1, and then we're just going to take the maximum of our fifth derivative there. That way, if I could figure out what this is, I don't get the exact formula for the remainder, but what I'll get is just an estimate for how bad it can be. All right, so our x is going to be 0.9, so what happens? 5 factorial is 1 over 120. We're going to raise this thing a minus 0.1 to the fifth power. But since I have the absolute value on, the minus sign goes away. And now all i got to do is check this maximum. So the fifth derivative is going to be given by 24 over x raised to the fifth power. And so we get that from our general formula right here. Now, let's plot our points. At 0.9, we're going to wind up getting 40.64. 
And then at one, I'm just gonna get a 24. And then we know the general shape of x to the fifth. That's gonna go like this. So we can see that the maximum is gonna be my 40.64. So what I'll use for this term here is just gonna be 41 to keep things same. So I multiply all this through. That's gonna be point five zeros and then three four. Okay, let's take a look at what the actual value is to see how bad the error is. Our actual value for natural log of 0.9, you go to the calculator and you get this guy, minus 0.10536 and so on. So we check against our estimate up here. What's our error? Well, you got five zeros and then two two. And then you note that's gonna be strictly less than five zeros, three four. So Taylor's theorem is nailing down our actual error.